today, Georgia schools are celebrating the 8th annual Walk to School Day. 41 NBC's Joy Duke shows us how Baldwin County Schools is taking student safety one step further. Well, as you can see, if you walk over to Oak Hill, you will see that we actually were walking on the roads. Not having a safe walking path to school is now water under the bridge for students in Baldwin County. We are celebrating and also opening up this wonderful walk bridge. And Baldwin County School Superintendent Dr. Norris Price says it came just in time for Georgia's 8th annual Walk to School Day. So safety is a top priority, and this is a very, very, Blandy Road is a very busy road, especially in the morning and during dismissal. It'll connect the four Baldwin County schools within minutes of each other that sit along the road. You know, before the sidewalks or the bridges were here, there wasn't that opportunity. And at the same time, help kids stay active. Uh, about one in three children is, is overweight or obese. The focus of it is on physical activity and getting our students and, and, and staff to walk. Now that they have the opportunity. You know, it's one thing to say I want to be physically active, but if I don't have a, a safe place to do it, then it's not likely to happen. Live Healthy Baldwin Director Jim Lidstone says this is only the start of a much larger project. The Safe Routes to Schools program is all about finding ways for kids to be able to walk and bike to school. And so what we have to do is we have to connect to the neighborhoods now via uh, what we call the Fishing Creek Community Trail. They want the path to eventually connect to downtown Milledgeville, but in the meantime, it'll give students a safe way to get active before and after the bell rings. In Milledgeville, Joy Dukes, 41 NBC News. Now the $1.2 million for the bridge came from a grant from the Safe Routes to School Infrastructure Fund. <laughs> Say that three times fast. <laughs> exactly.